Welcome back to Blau Dev. Today we're going to be going over how to create custom swipeable buttons. Um, so your typical toggle buttons that you see in an app. Let's get into it. So we're going to be using the light rolling switch package for this. And so let's go ahead and grab that dependency. Go back to our Visual Studio code. Go to our pubspec.yaml and we're just going to add it to our list of dependencies. In whichever file we are going to be using this package, we are going to add in the import. In my case, I'm just doing it in my main.dart file. Next, we want to go to where we want to add this but this swipeable switch, and we're just going to say light rolling switch. That's the name of the widget. And we're going to give it a value set to true we are going to say text on is going to say on text off it's going to say off we're then going to say color on is going to be colors.green uh, let's do green accent color off and we'll say colors.red accent Okay, and there's just a couple of other things we want to add in here. Um, icon on, and we can say icons.done. That'll give us the check. Icon off. We'll say icons. Is there, an, let's see. Okay, I think that's fine. We'll, we'll use the alarm off for this example. But you can see here there's a pattern. There's a bunch of different um, variables that you can set for both the on position of the switch and the off from color to text to icons. There's a lot of custom ability that we can do with this. Um, we wanna make sure we also set some text size. Um, so let's set it to 18. And then the last thing is on changed. And so when we do the on change, we wanna make sure we capture uh, bool, I'm just going to call it position. You can call it whatever you'd like. And I'm going to just print the button is okay. And that'll tell us the current state of the button. Okay. So that's all we need to do. So what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to do a hot reload, pull up in my simulator. So it defaults to the on. Watch this when I click it. It gives that rolling effect. It, it slowly changes into the color and the icon that we've selected. Click it again. And it goes into on. So this is a really cool custom switch that you can use. Um, you could use it for light and dark mode. Um, you could import some custom, you know, like moon and sun widgets or uh, icons. Um, you could do a lot of different things with this. And so I recommend giving it a try. See where you could fit it into your project and, and see how you like it. That's it for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time.